you will not leave. Hey vlog, kicking off the Nashville vlog. It's the night before and Hannah's here, just like Miami. Hannah's here the night before. We're mostly packed. I have to go to work in the morning so I can't pack my backpack yet and I'm like hoping I can shove all this in there because that is looking full and it's not even closed yet. But Hannah's bag, she's ready, she's got her hat. Vic's got her crest white strips in. I'm gonna fix the white balance on this. Everything's looking really yellow. But Vic's stuff is looking good. And we are so excited, I'm ready to go. I got my nails done today. They're like silver chrome to match my silver cowboy boots. There we go. Okay, I seriously need to fix the white balance, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm not gonna refilm that whole last clip, but now we fixed the white balance. I'm wearing my silver cowboy boots, so I wanted these to match, and I got tips, so they're so long, but I'm like click clacking around. Okay, anyways, now I'll actually see you guys in the morning. All right, Nashville vlog, let's go. I've got most of my stuff packed now. This has got two pairs of boots in it. I can't believe I fit those in there. And I actually was able to like tighten the second zipper too, so that's sweet. My laptop is charging and then it's gonna be thrown in my backpack, which again, I actually have a decent amount of room in here, so I might have room to shove my hats in, which ideally they will all go in there. We'll see, I might have to wear some of these on my head. But otherwise, I got my fanny pack and my backpack in this. And then we're done. The girls are ready. Vic's got Jesse's red cowboy boots. Oh, Vic is not wearing a shirt. Hi, Anna. Okay. Ready. Vic's hat don't, hats don't fit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hannah's stressed, but she's getting into it. Well, we're a little late. What time is it? 3.22. Okay, we're not even 10 minutes. We're, good. we're fine, and that was like a big cushion, so we're Gucci. Well, it's not because it's an hour drive to the airport now. Okay, Rachel, we picked up Rachel. We're on our way. We are debating what the odds are that Sarah Kelly brings a pillow. Because last it's year, her clip of last year, her getting <laughs> of her shoving shirt. her pillow in her bag. We were going through security last year on our way to Miami and she literally was like shoving this pillow into her carry-on and trying to make it fit. And the security was like, no, no. So anyways, we think like at least 90% chance she brought the pillow again. Howdy! Woo! Okay, wrong terminal. We're actually going to terminal three. <laughs> We picked up two more members. Howdy. Howdy. Put it back on. You guys, I'll take pictures of you guys. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, do you want to be in the vlog? No, no, no. <laughs> Present day Ellie here, and I'm here to explain briefly um, what the hell you just watched happen in the vlog. So, basically, we showed up to the airport. Um, we were actually super early. Our original flight was a connection to Nashville that was gonna go through Charlotte. We were like two, three hours early by the time we got through security and everything. So, we sat down at the restaurant, ordered food. We were gonna like chill for a while because we had a long time till we boarded. Right as we order, we get a notification that our flight has been delayed and it's gonna make it 
so that we're cutting it pretty close um, on our connection through Charlotte. So Tess and Rachel offer to go downstairs and chat with the Delta people and see what they can do or if there's any other options or whatever. Right now we still have like half an hour at the connection point but like that's cutting it close if, and if it got delayed once it might get delayed again. So anyways, Tess and Rachel go down to the Delta desk which is like down this long hallway, downstairs, there's no elevator or ramp or anything. They go down, they're like, well, we'll just go check and see what they can do. The waitress comes, brings all our food. Basically, right as our food comes, we get a frantic text from Tess and Rachel, and I'm gonna include some screenshots because it's literally so insane, you have to see the screenshots to get the urgency. A text from Tess and Rachel saying, pay the bills now, pack up, we need to leave immediately. And we're all like, what the hell? Like, what's going on? And it's actually funny because in the text you can see, I'm like, I actually said like, okay or something like that like i don't know why i was so calm and be just being like okay let's let's do it but anyways we we're all freaking out like oh my god what's happening why do we have to pay like where are we going what's happening and we're they're gonna text it's like rachel's going to miami in two minutes and we're like pardon me one rachel's going nowhere by herself especially miami in two in two minutes like what the hell rachel's calling Vic. we're trying to get our stuff so it turns out that We'd for sure have missed the connection in Charlotte because the plane was going to be delayed again. The Delta people told us that. So they're like, the only other hope you have of getting to Nashville tonight is to go through Miami right now. And the plane is almost finished boarding and the doors close in two minutes. So <laughs> Tess and Rachel are like screaming. We didn't even know if all of us were going, if there were seats for eight of us. Or if it was just Rachel, we had no clue. But Rachel, we see running. Because they had to go all the way down to the Delta desk, which is down here. And I guess the gate to Miami was actually back past the restaurant again this way. So we see Rachel running past the restaurant going, I'm going to Miami, I'm going to Miami. And we're all like, wait, what? You're also not going to Miami alone. I'm like, what's happening? The waitress is like, what the hell? All these eight girls just sat down and ordered so much food and now they're leaving? Like, what the hell? So I'm like, okay, just put it all on one bill. I'll just pay it. We don't have time for eight transactions. So I'm just trying to pay the bill. All the girls are trying to gather our stuff. We've like spread out because we thought we were gonna be there for three hours. And the waitress is so confused. She has no clue what's going on. Rachel's running past. We eventually see Tess run past. We pay the bills. All the rest of six of us run to the Delta gate. And like I said, we have all our luggage now at this point because we've left the restaurant and there's no elevator or ramp or anything down the staircase. We're sprinting down this long hallway, holding our luggage. Then we're clunk, clunk, clunking it down the stairs. One by one, the Delta girl is changing our tickets and basically handing it back to us and saying, run, run right now. And she kept saying, like, she'd hand it to one of us and say, like, girls, like, I don't think the rest of you are getting on, but, like, we'll try. And then she'd do the next one. And then she'd say, like, I don't think you guys are going to make it. Tez and Rachel at this point are texting us that they're stalling the doors for us. They're holding the doors. They're doing everything they can. The, the run, like, I literally ran from when I got my ticket changed to the Miami gate and it was probably like a five or six minute run with all our stuff and we had to clunk 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 our suitcases back up the stairs like it was such a mission and we we're sprinting on this long hallway to the gate and the lady at the gate was so unhappy like so cranky she obviously just wanted to board the plane but she's seen us run because the hallway's so long she's seen us run all the way down the hallway and one by one too because they kept saying like don't don't wait for your friends like if you're gonna go you have to go eventually i get to the gate i was the third last one to go vic and Marin are still at the delta gate and they vic waited with Marin because she was like i'm not leaving one person alone so i'm the third last one there the other girls are kind of like in the terminal part i don't even know if that's what it's called like the little tunnel that goes to the plane we're literally like trying so hard to stall the plane we're telling them our friends are coming they're coming this lady's like man your friends are not getting on this flight like we th the doors are already closed you shouldn't even be on this but your friends are not getting on the flight and we're like they're coming they're right behind me i'm like they were right behind me this this hallway's so long they were not right behind me and it was very evident and they were taking our luggage and checking it or something like we didn't even know they literally took our luggage didn't hand me anything like didn't get a slip of paper or anything the luggage is gone and they're like well if you're not getting on your on the plane then your luggage is going to miami and i'm like oh my god <laughs> what are we supposed to do and we're all like screaming but we're kind of like not screaming we're like laughing we're like kind of delusional and we're like telling the people like please hold this one baggage guy the guy who kept taking your baggage was really nice he was like it's fine girls like they're still 
people getting settled on the plane like it's not taking off like your friends will probably make it and we were like oh my god thank you thank you thank you and we've just been running also so every conversation we're like thank you like oh my god thank you <laughs> like trying to like catch our breath because we're all like one by one sprinting down this hallway eventually probably after like i had probably been in the gate for like 10 minutes like a long time way way longer than the rest of the time between the rest of us Vic and Marin are stirred over the intercom thing. Oh, two girls coming to the flight to Miami. And the lady at the desk who was so cranky was finally like, all right, we've got a visual on the girls. And we look at Marin and Vic are sprinting down the hallway, but they also, not even sprinting two arms because they have their luggage thingy, their suitcase. They're like running, whoo, with their backpacks. We're also wearing like three cowboy hats each. Like it was so ridiculous. We eventually all make it on the flight. And the people on the plane like totally hated us. We'd probably sold this plane 20 minutes. And they definitely just thought we were like these dumb girls who almost missed our flight, whatever. But little did they know it wasn't really our fault because the plane got delayed and they switched us to this flight that was literally leaving in two minutes or whatever. It was such a shit show. And we were all like so delirious, <laughs> like getting on the plane. We were like killing ourselves laughing because we could, just could not believe like what was happening. And that's where we rejoin the story. I hope I didn't miss any details and you guys understand what's going on and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Okay, we made it. Wait, it's not like focusing on you. It's so important to us. My instructions so that we can get you. Okay, we're right. We all you will not believe the flight. And we're on our way to Miami. Maybe our bags, maybe not. Nobody knows. <laughs> Everything is also just so funny right now. Carry on the place all the way in. Yeah, I was going to say, show the your tray table and contact a crew member for assistance. U.S. law prohibits disabling Polish or detectors in laboratories may result in a fine. U.S. law requires all to comply She was like, guys, you have to pay. And I'm like, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> What are the freaking odds of this? I had an awful plane ride. You did? Why? The people in front of me made out the entire Ew. Like the girl beside me. So Vic was behind me and I kept chatting with her. Oh, Vic told us that she yelled at you. The girl across the aisle was like tapping the guy beside me on the shoulder and he goes, she goes, she goes, excuse me, do you want to sit beside me so that these girls aren't bothering you anymore? And he goes, no, I'm good, thanks. We're in Miami. We're going to take the train to our gate. Our bags at the gate, where are they? She was like, they'll make it. And I'm like, no, they won't. I don't think so. But they, the they, they literally kept screaming, we're closing the doors. And we were like, no. Rachel was like, no, our friends are coming, I swear. She's like, I don't see them the whole so long. I was like, they're coming. Like, I found the front row. She did, she, has, she did stick her photo and saw us running yeah. down the hallway and that's when she but was Vic, like, she oh, did that. Vic, that she did like that like probably her. 10 times before they, she actually saw you kept going, they're not there. They're not, they're not coming. The women <laughs> women <laughs> All right, people, we did it. <laughs> we made the connection. <laughs> actually, how? It's a miracle. It's a literal miracle. Our bags? Who knows? But everything else, Slide. No, but we got on the plane and we got on the connecting plane. Robert hooked us up. Go Robert from American Airlines. He's really helpful. Robert from American Airlines, we back you. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys. I'm not the best. Wait, Audrey, what happened? Robert from American also put us in these like exit rows which we have to help them if there's an emergency but we have so much like room like woo. And, we have a seat. and yeah he gave me and Vic the good ones because we got an extra seat so we are slaying yeah I was roasting okay we've got one bag we've got two bags Let's see what else. <laughs> okay, we've got three, four, 
five. No, no, there's three more. Okay, six, two more. Yeah. Okay, seven. No, not seven. Yeah. Okay, and eight, you guys! No way! I'm actually shook. I'm actually shook. Eight girls. No. Me neither. Holy crap. And my bag got dirty. Well, uh, you got all our bags. I actually can't believe it. All right, let the trip begin. Yeah. Guys, we made it to our Airbnb. It's jungle themed. We're just here for one night before we go to the hotel. Oh, this is smart. Hello, Nashville Vlog. Let's go. It's, I keep saying Friday morning. It's Thursday morning. And we just woke up at our Airbnb. We we're just here for the one night because it was close to the hotel. And we're taking out all our stuff and going to check into the hotel. Everyone's getting ready. We're going to brunch at this place called Hampton Social. So we're all kind of wearing cute girly vibe outfits. I'll show you everyone's. Welcome to the crib. This door's so heavy. Okay, welcome to the jungle. This place is jungle themed. We've got Morgan Wallen blasting. Audrey's not dressed yet. Hannah looking adorb. This is the cheetah room. <laughs> welcome. welcome. Okay, Marin, Slay. <laughs> Who else do we have in here? Where's everyone? Okay, everyone's in here. Vic is clipping her toenails. I was gonna wear my cowboy boots today. I think yes. Sarah Cow, ready for the day? Almost. Okay, Audrey, Slay, girl. Guys, put your boots up on the table. <laughs> I'm thinking. And yeah, here we are. Essentially lower Broadway. Woo! Uh, I'm gonna like roll down my Yeah. Room. They probably have music playing right now. You really don't need to. Yeah, yeah. This is this starts at like 10 in the morning or out. Goes all the way to like 3 o'clock. Yeah, bike pedals out. So they just think. Amazing. <laughs> when you get here at night, you're gonna get the full fourth effect of it. But really, Friday, they'll block off everything probably from like 3rd Avenue to 5th. So if you're oh my god. An Uber, like, oh my god, get out it's of here. So yeah. Yeah, that's why we got the hotel we did, so we wouldn't have to Uber much at night. We were like, just go by Bridgestone. It's an easy pickup over there. Okay. So, oh, sure. It's alright. This is such a great hotel. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. And we got connecting rooms. Yay! Yay. Come on in. Yeehaw! And there's the connector. Woo! And a full length mirror for the girls. And a door. Oh, and this hotel, there's a back door that you can walk oh, yeah. straight to Broadway from here. Oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and we oh, said, look at the full length mirror. I know, that's what I said. I'm like, Monkey Monkey is a sit down breakfast place. Oh, wow. For the vlog, Marin just got a phone call from Hampton Social and they're having facility issues and they're closing their restaurant for the day. So, unfortunately, yeah. we can't go, which is really sad because. It was just like the perfect girls trip know, so kickoff, yeah. but yeah, we'll survive. And yeah, we got our connecting rooms, so it's going to be perfect. And I think we're just going to go to this place called Frothy Monkey for brunch anyways. We're all sad because we used our Hampton Social outfits for this, but it's fine. Alright girls. Guys, it's on the corner of Union Street and Lewis Place. Me neither. That was smart. Oh, we'll just walk up and go. Okay, so we're all like dressed in the front of the wind.
don't know where we're going. Hi. It's a mask. Hi. Doritos sweet chili heat pepper. Where are the other girls in dresses and have a bit? Yeah, because we're like all in our and cute outfits. like normal like work clothes. <laughs> and we're literally getting pairs. Like, um, what are these girls wearing? Um, I didn't know if they got them out, but more I thought there'd be so. more people in cowboy hats. <laughs> oh yeah. Hotel. I've I've had a realization that I've flashed more people. <laughs> <laughs> and that just told me. Oh, you're bad. Okay, well, who doesn't care? Because we don't know anyone here. Of us, if there's any time, it's you should flash the two of us on purpose. I'm not gonna do that. A brunch. I had a salty prosciutto. It was long. Okay. Like, I feel like we spent a lot of time. It was long. Yeah. yeah <laughs> There's so many. Wait, more Taylor Swift. Wait, wait, wait. Swifty, Swifty, Swifty. Swifty. Cornelius Street. Well, that's a New York thing. I can't get that in Nashville. I polish it real nice. Okay, I'm getting. Swifty. I'm getting. <gasps> okay, fine. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just my arm. This is the LA vibe. We're in this cool. I'm educating Marion this weekend on all the Taylor Swift eras because she doesn't know anything about Taylor Swift. I'm not on Okay, but you will be after this weekend. Okay. <laughs> These are cute. This. Oh I love that. It's so cute. Oh. Hannah, that is. No, I feel like you would block that. Yes? I think if you want to try something like that, I want to try the block. <laughs> She's got her priorities straight. Guys, what is this? I know, it's cool. Oh. You literally need this. Literally? With the boots. Like, I can't. It's perfect. Okay, the store was actually a major win, and I bought a shirt and a Taylor Swift soda. Good. It no, it's not, Tess. It connects over there. <laughs> Look at these spaces. One thousand dollars. Really? Wait, hold them up. <laughs> Wait, I need to take a Wait, did you see the other side? But yeah, split. They are cool as hell. Okay, I like these like like gold and black ones. They're so cool. Are we talking? Are we talking Canada over here? Oh, out in the field. Yeah. Out in the field. That's for sure. In a truck. That's that's true. There's a lot of country songs like that. Exactly. I already put your boots in. That's so cute. Whatever, no one will know. The fact that these don't look different at all, they lie. Fishing in the dark. Right. How did you do that? It said there was a room. You song. and me gone fishing in the dark. Yeah. Flat on a vaccine, kind of sauce yeah. where the cool grass grows. We're at Jason Aldean's bar. They're already playing Morgan Wallen. This is the vibe. Morgan Mullins literally greeting us. I'm dead. 
Morgan Wallen just texted us to come, so uh, he's here to greet us. Somebody's first. Somebody's freezing for leaving okay. on the porch slide. Thank you. This is what life is about, like swear to God. Okay, we just got back from Broadway. It was so much fun, like literally best time of my life. Anyways, we're in our conjoining room now. Okay, so this is gonna be the conjoining room. Look how lucky we are. We can walk right over. You ready for dinner? I'm wearing this cute little like lace up top. It kind of laces up at the back. Shorts, silver boots, and a purple dress. Vic, cowboy shirt. <laughs> what? I'm taking a view. Oh. Wait, how do I take it? Oh, okay. picture? Yeah. Heading to Lair. Wait, where are we? Yeah. I love that hat. I also, I also I love this hat. On, which I really regret because it's sticking. And it's Wendy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at this Wait, Alk like, store and look. Take a picture of us with like 10. I was gonna take a video for the vlog. We found the lover boy, you guys. Bravo Girls Unite. We've got the lover boy. We've, we're gonna get the strawberry lemonade. And what's this one, Mayor? Hibiscus lime. Hibiscus lime, we're gonna get. And it's gonna be great. I'll take a picture of you guys. Okay, we stopped back at the hotel to have a couple drinks. And then we're gonna go back and hit Broadway. We got lover boy. I think I took a little video on my phone at the bar. I'm gonna watermelon high noon because I like watermelon. Guys, lover boy. Cheers. Wait. Had one in over a week. Look at the girls. Like, literally say, get up there. Therapy dupe. Therapy dupe. I got 
They were like, I like your aggression, but I bet a lot of guys don't like that. I'm like, yeah, they don't. That is so good. I really like it. Know, You're wait, kidding. Wait, You're kidding. Why is it? No! Audrey did it! Audrey did it! What did you do that for?